Well, when it rains, it pours. In come the games this week. It seems like uh, I've received a lot of uh, titles this week. Now, I wanted to touch base on a handful of things here that just came in, in the last two days. And let's start with uh, the one step games. In fact, I might break this up into two videos. We'll do this. Uh, I, I picked up this uh, from. Oh, a chap by the name of Eric online, and uh, I, I'm, I'm excited about this little game because it's something I think we can play pretty quickly, and I may be able to get the kids interested in it because it plays in an hour or less. And uh, I think it's a nice little simulation of, uh, in a fun way, of uh, Waterloo. We'll have a look at that later in a separate video, perhaps. I haven't read the rules, I know nothing about it other than all my erstwhile wargaming buddies who own it think it's fabulous. Let's get on to One Step Games and uh, their Ares magazine. They uh, issue a, a game in each magazine. Uh, edition 1 was a War of the Worlds thing, which is kind of a goofy game and I really didn't like it very much. Uh, I've had a quick look at the rules for both of these new titles and I don't know, this is a version, sorry version. This is for uh, edition number 3 and this game is for edition number 4. And I have edition number four of the magazine right here. It just arrived. Uh, these two games arrived together yesterday. So Extractors is uh, a very straightforward sci-fi-esque uh, kind of uh, disparate technologies compete against each other type of sci-fi game. It's tactical scale. So you've got, you know, uh, well, these are bipods and some sort of weapons platforms and different bits and pieces. It's got... Uh, you know, standard move and combat tables, there's hard and soft damage, and uh, there are, you know, harvesting units that are trying to collect resources so they can go and keep their planet alive and all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, you, you, the trick, the cool thing about the game is that you are, are building your force before you go into combat. That's one of the neat things about the game. So, uh, really nice tables and uh, well, like these are all laminated and this is laminated. Uh, the artwork on the counters is pretty interesting. I'm holding this upside down, but it doesn't matter because they're, they're reversed in the, uh, it's kind of got that alternate uh, printing format. So no matter which way you hold it, it's up the right way or the wrong way as the case may be. Uh, Pretty straightforward game by the looks of it. I read, I skim read the rules. Uh, there are some advanced options that uh, make you kind of plan your operational cycles for one of the factions. But other than that, it looks like a pretty straightforward game that uh, I certainly will be having a, a play of, but not in the immediate short term. I've got lots of other projects on the table right now and this just won't fit in unless I can play it with a buddy. Four scenarios come in the game. I forget how much this was, but uh, I would say it's probably reasonable value for the money. Here's the map. I, I kind of like the map art. Uh, my first glance at it was, ooh, I'm not so sure. But uh, you know, it's looks sort of alien, <laughs> right? Uh, I quite like it. In fact, you know, I'll say this, I, I like the map art on uh, this thematically more than I like the map art for, for MBT. So there's that. So Extractors, looks interesting. We'll get to it at some point. Now the other game I have here is uh, called, I forget what it's called now. Uh, here's the Titans, that's right, Born of Titans. Now this is a fun little game. I read the rules for it in some detail. Uh, this morning, actually, I'm uh, off work sick. I've got some infection, so I can't really uh, go to the office. And uh, so I was working from home. While I was taking a break, I decided to read the rules for Born of Titans. And it's a simple point-to-point -point game. It's a questing game. You've got to go around and complete three quests. First guy to complete three quests wins. Uh, if that person uh, uh, then... Uh, and to do that, you know, that person has to... Uh, go from uh, accumulate, uh, not, there are three fact, the three kind of uh, factors that build, that build your, 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 your three capabilities you have that you use in the different quests 
And basically, each quest either requires, you know, uh, military strength or guile or wisdom or divine intervention or something like that. And so, uh, I forget what the three categories, the specific names of them are. But basically, you go around and then uh, you've, you've got your quest. Uh, they're, uh, you're trying to get to you the location and they're hidden. You get there, you've got to resolve the, the problem uh, and then you get the the quest token, it goes back into a pool. There's a lot of hidden information in this game. It's a, probably an ideal game for three or four players. I think you probably rank, crank, it, crank it out in an hour or so. Uh, you pick up all these different token types. Uh, you use crews for your military strength. Uh, you have the heroes that go around, so one, two, three, four, five. So five people could play. Uh, you've got these different quests and uh, if you can read that here, let me turn the light on. Uh, different encounters, different gear that you can accumulate that will help you. There, uh, there's prophecy that will assist you as well, and the different encounters may or may not may or may not assist you in the uh, in the game. Nice. So there are these uh, crew sheets that you use to keep track of your different capabilities as they go up or down, and. Uh, as you, it stops you from getting too far ahead because when you, when you, uh, when you complete a quest, you're given the hubris uh, uh, chit, and that chit uh, is then uh, uh, yours until you can get rid of it via either divine intervention or some other method that may uh, may occur. So it's all very cute. That's right. It's navigation, wits, and battle value are the three factors that uh, are involved here. So it looks pretty straightforward. It looks like a fun game. We'll, uh, we'll enjoy having a look at that at some point in the near future. Here are the... Uh, uh, so I guess it's a four-player game, not a five-player game. There's four, four sheets there. It makes sense for it to be a four-player game, wouldn't it? And there you have that. So they're the two games that came in from one step, one small step games. And then they also run the Ares uh, thing. This is how this came, kind of open. Um, I suppose I shouldn't be sharing my address with you. Ah, what? I've got another copy of this. Are you kidding me? Have I got two copies of this stuff? I have. I thought this was the Ares magazine. For some reason, they, they, they've sent me two copies. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. Uh, I will uh, post this video up. What I need you to do to go into the draw to win a game, and you need to be in the United States because I'm not going to eat a bunch of postage. I will eat the postage for a U.S. participant. And what I need you to do is uh, like the YouTube video. I need you to share the YouTube video on your Facebook page or your Google Plus page and uh, go to the big board on Facebook if you're a Facebook follower and, uh, and like it and share it there as well. And that I'll track all of those. If you put a like on, I can't see the like, I can't see who likes stuff on YouTube by name. So make a comment and a like, and that will uh, get you in the running for uh, uh, one shot at the draw. We'll do two draws, uh, and if you do a Facebook like or a Google Plus like and make a comment, etc., uh, that will uh, also give you a chance, so you can get up to two chances to be successful. And then the bonus would be, you go to my blog, uh, subscribe to my blog. I'll take a note of how many subscribers I have. Make a comment on this particular video page on the comment section. You'll get your third vote and then I'll give you three chances to win a game. And I can tell from past experience that typically only eight or ten people will actually take the time to do any or all of those things. You'll have between one and three chances of winning. Sounds like a fair deal. I will give these games away sometime next week. All right, we'll leave that on the on the Facebook page and all that sort of stuff. So I'll be giving away both of these. You uh, have an opportunity to win them. There you go, how about that? Just boom, like that. All right, talk to you guys later. Like it, click it, share it, do it, bye.